Dr. Bob, I have a bad cough. My chest is burning. I don't have a temperature, but I'm coughing up sputum. Um, is this pneumonia? Is this bronchitis? What's going on? What can I do for it? I've got allergies. Is it the allergies that are going on? It's a real problem. Usually an upper respiratory infection starts with a sore throat, and so we get a sore throat, and then we can get hoarseness, and then we get a raw chest, and then we start coughing up sputum, sort of in that order. So we get sore throat, laryngeo, uh, and then a raw chest, tracheo, bronchitis, cough, and coughing up sputum goes along with the bronchitis. Most of those are viral. Most of those are self-limited. Sometimes people with underlying allergies get a secondary infection. Sometimes they can lead to a lot of mucus production, and if you don't cough that mucus out, out of the chest, it can set you up with pneumonia. Pneumonia, usually you can tell what part of the lung it's on frequently, that is. Usually the temperature is elevated. That can be viral. Back, uh, antibiotics do not help that. Uh, just something to loosen up the mucus, drinking a lot of water. The body's going to tell you you feel crummy, and so you'll want to go to bed. That's good for it. But don't stay in bed because when you lay flat, uh, mucus may accumulate where you are, and that can be bad for getting the mucus out of your chest. If your raw chest gets worse over two or three days, your body will tell you if you need to see your doctor. If you've got a low-grade temperature, that's okay. And you're probably contagious as long as there's a low-grade temperature and that chest feels raw and you're coughing up. So better not to give it to everybody else. Uh, it's not going to damage your lungs. Your lungs will heal good. Most of the time it's self-limited. If you've got chronic bronchitis, that's a flare. That has to be treated aggressively, and you have to call your doctor right away.